Hello, I'm Matthew Teitelbaum, the Anne and Graham Gunn Director of your Museum of Fine Arts. I'd like to welcome you all very warmly to tonight's seventh annual Hanukkah celebration. And I have to say now that it's the way we gather has changed uh, a little different, but I wanna say so directly that it's really important that we stay connected. We have a, had a remarkable response to tonight's celebration and, and the related programming, and I'm delighted that you've chosen to be with us. It's the role of the museum to bring people together, and we're doing it this way with great partners in a way that really celebrates great traditions in our community. After all, now more than ever, we are steadfast in the belief that we can be at the museum and in our community a meeting place of world cultures a place where we can all gather to share experience, gather understanding of each other through the lens of art. We at the museum are committed to sharing our collection with the broadest possible audiences in service of our goal of bringing art and people together. I'd like to recognize all of the artists, musicians and presenting partners who collaborated with us in this endeavor you are the heart and soul of who we are. In particular, please let me offer profound thanks to the Jewish Arts Collaborative and Combined Jewish Philanthropies, our planning and promotional partners since the beginning, and you are great partners. Your enthusiasm, commitment, and hard work in making this event such a success, I put the hard work piece in there for Laura, and your dedication to sharing Jewish arts and culture is a model for true collaboration. We could not do it without you. And we truly appreciate your creative energy and your collaborative spirit. And we would like to expand, extend our thanks to Justin Brovitz, Market Director at Banking at Chase, Greater Boston. Thank you for your belief in engaging with the community and for your generous support of this evening. It's now my pleasure to introduce my great friend, Laura Mandel, the Executive Director of Jewish Arts Collaborative, great friend to me and to the Museum of Fine Arts. Thank you, Matthew. While sitting here in my own home doesn't quite have the festive vibe that we've all come to cherish at the museum every year, I admit that there's something nice about being with all of you and not worrying about my two-year-old crying in the middle of the museum. But really, the ability to be here with everyone online, like Matthew said, it feels so much more special and important right now than ever. And I'm energized celebrating all together. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to the MFA team and to the Israeli consulate and to CJP who've been steadfast partners in this. And a special thank you to ZVI Construction who've made this program possible for J Arts for many years. The program tonight is intentionally the night before Hanukkah starts, as some of you have noted, our hope being that we actually wanna bring a bit of the light of the holiday to your home to spread across the week. And of course, we also have other things happening this week so that we hope you'll join us for the brighter connected window art installations that are on display in eight neighborhoods throughout the holiday, specifically with one piece called Black as Light that is being projected on the museum tonight, starting tonight and extending throughout the week. Um, it's by artist Eric Jacobs in partnership with Boston Poet Laureate Portia Oleola, and I hope you'll go check it out, please. And even if you're not in Boston, if you have an iPhone, take it out now and go to the App Store, because we have a new app called J Arts Gallery. It's an augmented reality app that's featuring vignettes of the art and stories of four incredible Hanukkiyot, one of which is actually the story of a 1932 Nazi-era Hanukkiah that you see here in the home of a rabbi in Germany, and it feels a little too relevant today. So I know the phrase, we're in this together, might feel a bit tired and overused at this moment, but I just wanna say how important this is and how closely connected it is to the J-Arts mission of letting culture connect us all. Tonight, as you hear Ashkenazi music by Hankus Netsky, side by side with music by Ethiopian Israeli singer Tamar Rada, I hope it reminds us of the commonalities that we all share as human beings and of the differences that make us so special. Tonight's program for me is such a beautiful reminder of this, and I hope you'll join us in celebrating this. 
a note to all of you families out there. In addition to this program, if you look on the J Arts YouTube channel, there's also a family playlist with crafts and music and storytelling. So you can have even more Hanukkah celebration in your home. And for those of us who celebrate other holidays of light in this cold, dark season, I say happy Diwali, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, and of course, happy Hanukkah. Now, if you haven't grabbed your own Hanukkah yet, please go ahead and grab it and join us. We're actually gonna do a candle lighting all together at the end of this. So before I throw it to my dear friend and colleague, Mark Baker, president of CJP to lead us in the candle lighting, I want to welcome Consul Daniel Agronov from the Consulate General of Israel to New England to bring us greetings from Israel. Daniel. Thank you, Laura. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Mark. I want to thank specifically MFA and J Arts for this wonderful program. It's my third uh, year here in Boston and every year I am joining this program with my family. I also missing this possibility to go with all my five kids to the museum and run around and have fun with all the exhibits, but I hope we will meet together next year. This is the holiday of lights. So I'm very excited that we will light this Hanukkah that my daughter Daphne made last year we will light this Hanukkiah and other Hanukkiah together. I encourage you to light those Hanukkiah in your homes and put it on the windows that everyone will share the light, your family, your friends, and your neighbors. This is also a holiday of, of miracles. And I hope and pray, I'm sure with you, that this era of pandemic will end, the new normal will end, and we will come to a normal normal. We will come back, we will join together, and celebrating Hanukkah next year and MFA with all the other partners. And I am very excited to light this Hanukkah with you now. Um, I just want to emphasize that this year is that we are at Israel Consult are spreading the spirit of Tikkun Olam, uh, the repair of the, the world in Hebrew and helping the one it's need with our new programs around the New England. So to all our friends uh, in non-Jewish community, Happy Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Diwali, and of course, Chag Sameach, Happy Hanukkah. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you both for your leadership. And of course, thank you to Laura and to Jay Arts for your vision, your incredible energy, and your creativity. I'm sorry not to be with everybody in person this year. I have to say the candle lighting at the MFA with thousands of members of our community has really become one of the highlights of my year. But Hanukkah after all is a story of resiliency and perseverance. And so here we are virtually because nothing will stop us from shining our light out into the world. In the face of this pandemic, our community's response over the past many months has been extraordinary. Thousands of donors and volunteers mobilizing millions of dollars to respond to basic human needs, both here in greater Boston and around the world. We are facing multiple crises right now and the needs are only growing, but the desire to give back, to bring light in the midst of darkness is growing as well. And even as we focus on our basic needs and on human dignity during this pandemic, our community is also adapting and innovating to ensure that we continue to broaden, deepen, and expand the ways that everyone can find meaning and connection in Judaism and Jewish life. Virtual events like this one are breaking down boundaries and making it possible for more people to access the power of Jewish culture and community. That's what this candle lighting has always been about. Come one, come all, come families, whoever you are, however you identify, Come see and feel the beauty and the magic of arts and culture and history and ritual. These are the lifeblood of the Jewish people for thousands of years that are being renewed and recreated for the 21st century. I'm so proud that CJP has partnered with J Arts this year to launch our first ever community creative arts fellowship in order to shine new light on local Jewish artists who will in turn shine their lights on all of us ensuring that this community is a dynamic, vibrant model of what is possible when we create the Jewish future together. Thank you all for joining us tonight. In the spirit of Hanukkah, the festival of lights, 
and in the spirit of the resiliency and renewal of Jewish life and culture, please join me now in lighting the Hanukkah candles. As Laura said, since Hanukkah has not officially started yet, we can each light our candles in our own ways right now. I'm gonna to choose to light all the candles in order to bring in as much light as possible as we begin this holiday. And in lieu of the traditional blessings, since the holiday hasn't started, let me just say the following. Thank you, God, for blessing us with this mitzvah, this commandment and sacred opportunity to bring your light and our light, love and healing to a world that really needs them right now. Thank you, everyone. And now we'd like to say, Happy, Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah.